Hello and welcome back to the channel. So it's finally here, the day is here where I'm gonna to go to the Pyrenees to ride a motorcycle and go on the most craziest ever adventure. My bag is packed, my flight is booked, I've got a place to stay and do you know what? I'm just dead, 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 dead excited. And sort of the big thing about today is, is that I'm basically going to go and meet my dad. My dad is picking me up from the airport. He lives in France and I've not seen my dad and my stepmom for such a long time. I speak to them every single week, but I haven't seen them for absolutely ages. So it's quite an emotional day because I can't wait to spend some time with them as well. And do you know what? They are really inspirational people. They've worked so hard for what they've got. And I just hope that I make them proud. So let's get to France. Let's go on this crazy adventure. Well, I am right next to the airport and because I drive an electric car, I'm having to charge my car to make sure when I go home that I don't have to stop on the way back. At least that's the plan, but I had to wait ages to get on a charger because the infrastructure is absolutely rubbish. Anyway, more importantly, I'm bricking it a little bit and let me explain why. Because when I packed my case on the previous video and I weighed it, I had to take stuff out to get that weight right. And then I hadn't realised how much other stuff I still had to pack. So I packed a load of other stuff and of course it was well overweight. So I've had to put stuff like my drone and stuff like that into my rucksack that I'm taking to ideally get everything I need to take on the trip. But I've had to dump my textiles and go with plan B and put on sort of my thick kind of Kevlar jeans and wear that on the plane, which means I'm going to get quite hot and obviously my hoodie and stuff like that. But <laughs> when I weighed the actual suitcase with the Chinese digital weigher, it originally said it was like 21 kilograms. So I took out some more bits and put them into my rucksack, weighed it again. And when I sort of went to bed, it said it was 19 kilograms. I put my toothbrush in this morning and it says it's 19 and a half kilograms again. So basically, I don't know how good these cheap Chinese scales are, um, but we'll find out because if I get to the airport, it's really expensive, literally, if you're overweight per kilogram. So I'm really hoping I don't get a massive fine before I even get on the plane. This is fingers crossed. Anyway, I've not got a massive amount of time left, so I'm giving my car probably another 15, 20 minute charge here and then off the airport. Well, I am flying from Stansted Airport to Toulouse in France, and that's basically right near the Pyrenees where I'll get picked up. So hopefully I think it will go well. I'll get on the flight, I'll get there. I'll be all chilled out and relaxed because I just can't wait to get there. I can't wait to show you guys what bike I'm gonna pick up. And I can't wait to give my dad and my stepmom a massive hug because I really miss them. Just come on, let's get there. So I've made it to France. People are talking really weird, so I definitely know that I'm here. But I got picked up by Senior Lord Head. Now, at the end of the day, we had a big hug, but it was a busy airport. I was very sweaty, it took a few steps back. But he's happy that I'm here, that's right. Oh, yes. Now, the big question is, is what happened to James, the chauffeur, and the Bentley? Because you being a Lord, I expect it to be picked up in the Bentley. Yeah, well, the problem is, you said, I thought, that you were coming to Lourdes Airport. And he was booked to go there. And I forgot to tell him, change your plan. Sorry. It's all right, I'll let you off. But you've still got the big manor house though, right? We've got the same house, the Couvent, it's called. 
because that's where the nuns used to live. See, what well, you live with nuns? Wait, no, they they moved out. I was going to say, you didn't just move to France to, 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 to completely change your lifestyle and live with nuns. No, they, we'll have none of that sort of talk. <laughs> well, what we're doing now, we're heading back to the manor. Got to pay and now. He's got, got to pay. Got to pay for the, the toll. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to head have back. Have you got your checkbook? Yeah, I've got your credit card. Oh, right, nice. so we're going to head back to the manor. I'm going to grab a beer and go open up the map. And I'm going to plan tomorrow because I picked the bike up tomorrow. But I'm going to plan what we're going to do. And hopefully day one of actual riding should be absolutely epic okay so i've arrived at malvasy i've arrived at my parents house and do you know what it's pitch black as you can see so i can't even show you how beautiful this place is but i will in the morning but right now i'm going to get my first chill out beer and then i'm properly on holiday on a proper adventure well just like that it's the next day and it's a beautiful day because it's obviously raining because it knows that i'm here and at the end of the day <laughs> All I've got to do now is go and grab this 200 euro hired bike and hopefully get out into the mountains. But right now I'm going to jump in the car with my dad again, shoot over and get this awesome machine. So I've just picked up my motorcycle for this week. Well, I managed to hire for 200 euros. And like I said in the previous video, you can't hire a 50c scooter for a week for 200 euros. And I'm excited because I get to ride this bike all around the Pyrenees. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me give you the bike I've hired for 200 euros. So that is the bike. And do you know what? It's a nice ride. It, it generally is a nice ride. But I'm going to end the video here because the next episode, I'm going to take it up a mountain. <laughs> <laughs>